Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm here for episode 9, where we're gonna go to the next temple. First of all, Dougie! Dougie, Dougie! That's right. You can't touch the Gorons. So let's start this one off. Uh. Uh, no, I'm trying to play the inverted one here. <laughs> You playing on an Xbox controller really makes this kind of kind of tricky, so I'm sorry about the failure. Hopefully, this is not a little indication of how the episode's gonna go, because quite per quite honestly, this dungeon is one of the strangest and probably one of the funnest. So first, well, in the last episode we gained some more stuff and helpful things and to get there, and now we have to actually, you know, get there. Um. Now. There we go. There's the song of soaring. <clears throat> Alright. So we have to get the next temple's named Snowhead. And as you can guess, we probably have to go on the mountains for there. I slowed down time because there is actually some time sensitive stuff we've been doing in this episode. But nonetheless, here we are in the mountain village. Okay, General Hindsight, that moment you realize you really should have gotten some arrows and stuff beforehand. But at least there's a little smidgen we can gather here. I might, might as well pick up this fairy. Alright. Don't worry, we will get more bottles eventually. Uh, we're gonna need this more than that, alright. Something interesting. Nope. Eh, I guess it's, it's relatively interesting. Okay. So. Now we'll head off this way so we can hopefully get there. We got the song last time, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's, let's get a little rolling start. Let's go! As you can see, there's now this awesome thing we can do as a Goron. We can ride ramps, which you might have seen some back in turn the field, because there are indeed a few little ramps. That went rather smoothly. But now that we're regular Link again, let's freeze our hands off and get Frostbite and die. As we enter Snowhead and there's a mysterious blowing wind. God, it kind of sounds like some dude's been smoking or something. Eh, eh. What's that? There's something in the middle of the blizzard. Can't we see it? Well... I could look at it. Oh, I could slap the statue. I could look at it, or I could do this and make what happens be a surprise. So I think I'll, I think I'll do that. Alright, there we go. I'm having trouble with these songs lately. Sorry, guys. Yeah, such a lovely, soft lullaby. And BAM! That's what was blowing us. A humongous Goron. Oh, now we're making him tired. They're just gonna fall right in our way. I guess this is big. The return of Biggeron. Ah, nice. Oh no! Oh, oh! I'm sorry. I think we may have just killed a Goron there. So let's gather this fair. Okay, let's not gather it because it despawned. I, I, I guess? They, do, do fairies really, like, despawn like mobs do in video games, or what? Alright. Let us use a different little thing to help us get past these guys, because I am terrible timing it. As you just watched. Yeah. Sorry about that. Timing. I'm, I'm great with timing, but for some odd reason, I just fail at some of these things. Looks like we don't need it. So let us instead make haste to quickly climb Snowhead Temple. I'm not even going to attempt to do that while rolling as a on because I know I will fall. Excuse me, and look like an idiot. So let's instead be smart and run along with a giant bomb strapped to our face. Ah, uh, detonating bombs on our faces and putting a shield in front of it so I can't touch anything! Ah, uh, that's how it should work, but for some odd reason in Zelda, it works awesomely. Eh, uh, did 
didn't recharge fast enough. Because we all know explosion. Uh, no, no. Okay. Ooh, magic. Alright, so we are going to have to ignore that. Ow. Instead, take out our bow and let's continue on. Right there, I thought our footsteps were keys. But here we are. And as we wait, little balls of snow now try to kill us, but let us just move this humongous block, because we just have to be a giant, strong Goron instead of wielding humongous silver gauntlets. And before we know it, our best friend shows up! Yep, the best friend that loves to howl at you and show you its rear end. And then explode in a blue fire. <laughs> All right. mm. Yes, because everyone knows in volcanoes is always lava. A stray fairy! Let's get it! Oh, great. The temple already gets to show us one of its favorite features. That feature being hidden walls! I'm sorry, I just had a total mind fail right there and just everything died. Oh, I'll try to recover from that, and let's go. So, as explained in Ocarina of Time, but never really used, Gorons can indeed withstand lava for a short period of time. But I'm just going to be a sniper real quick. Is there something in the way? Nope, I just suck. Okay. And we have to go over here. And get that one. And wait. Because the made straight fairy is really slow. And now we can just roll across lava. Steal Mario's favorite trick and... Whack! Okay. I don't understand how he can do this. I mean, he's a giant rock. How he manages to climb this little itsy-bitsy ladder. I give him kudos. I really do. Well, I hope you guys like the new mic. I mean, oh, I know the quality's a little bit higher as long as I don't fail when trying to record it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And let's go! And spike ball! Let's go! Because like everyone does in Zelda, immediately go through the first little thing you see. Oh, it's our best friend. Explosion Mouse. Die. Alright. I thought there was a chest. Oh. Yay, I'm blind now. Aw, oh, clipping the mask. So we dive into the chest and get... The map! The thing that's completely useless in every dungeon you get it in. Alright, so let's go! Love the jumping animations in this game. Also allows you to jump farther. Mm. Yeah, they did a real good job with the temple here. I mean, it's like a giant corridor, which really intersects. It made it kind of an interesting idea back then. So, without further ado, let us first use the age old. Oh, dang it! Age old trick of falling. Although while we're down here, we can step on a massive switch that only a Goron could press and get this nice little chest that appears in lava and for some reason doesn't disintegrate and burn. Let's just ignore those. And we get the magical stray fairy that for some unexplained reason isn't dead after residing in lava for ages. But at least now we fall, we can gather some supplies. I saw one there, sorry. And stray fairy. Wait, why am I Goron? Don't touch me. Don't, don't touch me. Okay. Ah, sticky buttons. Sticky buttons. And now we can, this time, not horrifically fail. And we can use the time-tested old and age-old fire arrow trick. Shooting an arrow through a little tiny flame and melting ice. I... Yeah. And then we can watch the arrow as it burns on fire. Mm. Alright. Alright, move onwards to here. 
And we fight our best friend again. Oh, it got me. Stop, don't touch me, don't touch me. I'm gonna touch you, you're not allowed to touch me. Alright then. Looks like we didn't need to quite come this way yet, because we do not have a small key! Nope. No. No, okay, good. He's not allowed to fall anymore. So instead, let us go through here. Let's move some Majora's face. I do enjoy moving Majora's face. Because we seem to do quite a lot in this game. And let us make no waste in time and obtain a key! A nice little small key. Ouch, my face. Nick's the only man I know that could ever roll headfirst into anything. I mean, even, even characters nowadays can't do that. I mean, just look at him. The only man who could ever, literally, smack his mortal enemy in the head with his own. It means it's magic. Alright, we're pushing it here to find. It slots into place, and there's a chest that we conveniently can't reach until much later. Eh <laughs> heh. Wait, I wonder. Uh, no. You know, I almost wonder if I can do it by using that Goron jump thingy, this thing. Let's try. Eh, no. Eh. No. Eh. Nope. We tried. So let us just get back to that later. Instead, let's go through here. Now that we have a key, we can go through the other direction. So today, I was messing with my phone, because I just got it a few days ago. It's a smartphone. Never had one before, and I found you can do a lot of neat stuff with it. I checked my email for the first time in... Long time. I don't even remember the last time I checked my email. I was on Facebook with it. Again, first time in ages. Don't really check that stuff that often. So I'm sorry for any of you that are watching that actually try to com talk to me about it or two. So, and I noticed the battery died so fast. Do all smartphones die that fast when you're, like, just sitting it, letting it sit idle? Would it help if I, like, turned off the Wi-Fi or something? Samsung Galaxy Reverb. Lovely phone. Do enjoy it a lot. But good lord. It worries me that it's already pretty much... And it already pretty much died. Maybe I just suck at trying to recharge charge it. I don't know. Yeah. Oh well. We can now advance onwards and up to here. And we encounter ice, ice, baby. No, I'm just kidding. Ice, ice, everywhere. Jump! Yes, this little, the little like insignia down there of the snow means that this is an openable passage. And you know what this means? Fairy time. This thing being a passage will become much more relevant later, as there is another one that it happens with. And now we get to do what we did last time, but with much larger bits. Oh, look, it has a crack. Let's shoot it. It gets bigger. Let's shoot it again, and it falls and helps us. All right, um... I think I might be able to make that jump. Um... Let's go for it! Yeah, we made it! And are almost sniped by some falling ice. Destroy! And now we can open another chest. You know, it's little it's little meaningless puzzles like this that really puzzle me. <laughs> Bad puns. I love them. Oh, now oh, come on. Honestly, I didn't know that that could even happen for the longest time because I never even touched the ice, but now I seem to do it on a daily basis. <sighs> Shall we try without even looking? I would call myself God if I didn't know any better. Because there is a little hole up there, and I've tried for ages to try and shoot it without having to use the lens of truth. Oh. Oh, that's neat! Stray fairies disappear! I didn't know that. Huh. Wait a minute. If you use the lens of truth and stray fairies disappear, does that possibly mean that stray fairies don't actually exist? Like, are stray fairies just figments of Link's imagination? And you're 
actually gathering literal shattered pieces of Fairy's body and holding them. Holding them in your arms and in your tunic, because that's where you store everything. And just trying to keep as best care of it as you can before you have to go. And when you save the fairy, all of her pieces cumulate together into one to make the stray fairy or the great fairy of Wachimajiki. Oh no, no, no! I still don't understand stray fairy or great fairies. They all look kind of weird to me. Go, Link! Go! Yes! I can't tell you how many times I've failed on this room. So let us move onwards. A few old back flips to give us some more room. And let's go! For some odd reason, you know, sliding on ice just makes us light on fire. But let us avoid the ice and go on snow because we. Oh. We're gonna be. Oh, dang it. <laughs> because we'll be. Okay. We can grab some money in case that ever becomes relevant. But I don't really know if there's anything else we really have to buy for the rest of the game, but... Except maybe one mask we might we might get to. I'll try and get to all the masks, I really will. I'll try not to miss any. It's been a while. I may, I may accidentally forget a few and then have to look something up in me old... me ancient guidebook to figure out what we have to do to get it. But I will do my best to make sure we get all 24 masks. All... no, well, before transformation. No, it's 25, I think, actually. Let's see. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. That's 24 masks in all. We'll try our absolute best to get absolutely all 24 of them. Eh. We might even get. No, I, I think with time constraints, we won't manage to get another mask in this episode, but we can always try our best. It's Wizro. Lovely mage. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, so I'll just shoot you with a bow. Got it. Eh. Oh my god, are you serious? You're gonna be that guy. Oh, I love these new headphones I got. 3D really helps so I can actually tell where things are gonna happen. What, what? No. No. Um. Uh, no. What, does he never learn? Oh. Oh, no, this. Which one is it gonna be? There's the real one. No! Oh, I still got him. Cool. If I touch that, I'm gonna freeze, and I don't feel like freezing again. Got him. We get a lovely chest again! I don't know why they seem to put all the items in the exact same chest design now. I mean, like, small keys, dungeon items, compass, map. Everything's in the exact same chest, but this one is the dungeon item! We now have the fire arrow! <sighs> okay, hey guys, sorry. Yep, sorry. I had to go move a table. Yeah. We're getting new carpet in one room of our house, and my parents decided that they needed my help to move a table completely spontaneously and randomly, and so their needs take precedence over this. So I had to go do that, but now I'm back! So we can continue going through this temple to see what we can do. Alright, now we're up here. I can now show you something cool about these guys, right here. They're kinda fragile. This I could shoot, but it would not help at all at the moment. So let's instead don the lens of truth and go up a hidden place. Go up to the hidden place. Little itsy bitsy platforms. All right, we made it! Yay! And we get, for all our hard at work, another stray fairy! Now we've reached seven, we're just under halfway there. Although we can never actually be halfway there, because it's an odd number! 
Uh, yes, as you can see, this is over there. There's another one over there, but can't really get to that until much later. Let's just ride over in this direction and shoot this with our newly gained weapon. The fire arrows of justice! Yeah. Alright, so now we've done that, we can advance further. Uh, it's the climb. And this entire temple is just a humongous climb. Oh. I think I need to go do something with my newly acquired fire arrows. Yeah, I can see it. Go, Link! But, before we do this, I want to accomplish a time-sensitive thing, so when we come back, and we basically just enter the main room, it's right here! Ah, oh, come on! Ah, uh, here. Okay, now. Let us depart. Now, this song has another use that's actually rather interesting. Instead of being able to soar when we're in a temple, we just get to soar to the entrance, which will become rather important. Ish, I guess. Kind of? It becomes rather helpful later on. This is one reason it's helpful, I mean... Just being able to instantly leave the temple... Be able to fly away again to a more relevant place so that we can do something really important. In fact, what we're doing might not even... Yeah. Not, might not, will not be completed until the next episode. Because... It takes quite a lot of things to accomplish, but it'll be very helpful later on. So, the high school I go to, we have a class, we have a bunch of gym classes, and two of them allow you to do a thing known as personal fitness. Or, no, that's actually in the title. Self-defense, I mean. Yeah, there we go, self-defense. Yeah. And using self-defense, we learn crazy things. And the, the person who taught us just loves to beat the crap out of me. Fire arrow. Yeah, my, my ribs hurt. I was holding this thing for him as he was kicking, and this... God, that guy can kick. Ugh, it's painful. Look at that guy's dress. Or look at what he's dressed in, I mean. Why is he dressed like that? If he either A, is in mountains, or B, is a blacksmith. Alright, I want you to smith my sword. Three, four, to go. What? Uh, I <sighs> uh, forgot about that. It costs money. I, I... Huh. I didn't know he said forget about the coffee. But yeah, that's right, we save his business, and then he makes us pay money to get our sword forged. I forgot all about that last bit. So let's go back to our favorite money-gathering place and gather a quick amount of greens. Or... Greens? Kind of? Yeah, rupees are green. Single ones are. But instead of gathering 100 single ones, let's just gather 100 instantaneously. Yeah. Well, I didn't do that earlier, because I actually was going to do that and buy some supplies before we left, but instead, we can just go gather that now and use it to sell our so I mean, reforge our sword. Yeah, I've heard of being a sell sword, but I mean... <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, that's one thing about this game that always kind of... Kind of makes you feel about weird about go seeing this place again. It's kind of repetitive when you need money. You kind of always have to do the same one of, like, same three things to instantly get lots of money. And this is one of them, but... I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of fun. I have fun doing this. I hope you guys do, too. Please rate, leave a comment, subscribe if you love my voice, if you like the channel, or, or if you just like the game. I mean... I even post... I'm posting episode 8 tonight, so I try to do the... I was doing these the day off, but I decided doing them a day in advance might be a little more interesting, so in case I get under the weather again, I'll still have one to do for the post. Alright, let's go reforge our sword over at Gabora's. Gabora? What's the other guy's name? I can't remember. I think he just said it, too. Oh, well, short attention span- uh, Oh, apparently long and short attention span. 
lost, but my attention span isn't always the best either. I mean, in doing this, I look all over my room sometimes and just sit here recording. So, someone told me that my episodes are kind of long. I thought you guys might like episodes being long, because when I'm watching, um, when I'm watching Let's Plays, like I am the Ocarina of Time version of Zelda, the Zombie Gaming, awesome guy. Great, Let's Play makes some pretty good jokes. I just thought his videos are a lot, oops, sorry, a lot shorter, so I thought you guys might like longer videos. But if they're too long, let me know, and I'll cut them in half-ish. I'll do 15 or 20, whatever you guys would rather. And then after that, we can go from there. But I'll just keep doing this. Hope you guys like it. At the moment of doing this, I think I still only have two subscribers. But you two, yes. If there's any more of you, it would be great. And now we see, we have no weapon! Like, look, it's not there anymore. It's actually pretty helpful. Because you don't have a sword anymore, because that's totally a good thing. So now we can just go back to the temple. And we can continue doing stuff from there. Although, given that we have 50 arrows, which the quivers we gathered in the last two episodes... Mm, sorry for that. And we have a Goron mask. I think we're in good shape. I mean, the sword isn't really that helpful anyway. I just use it because I like swords. I like swords a lot. In fact, I have a few swords in my bedroom. None of which are too much to brag about. But, but nonetheless... Fairy! Because it's totally helpful. All right. All right, need for speed, need for... Oh, duh, nah. That was Gran Turismo. Now let's go for need for speed. Need for speed. We got the need for speed. Ah. Yes. Speaking of needs, I play card games and my deck needed some cards. And I had a little Visa card with like $14.20 or something on it. And I said to myself, I should definitely use this to buy more car- Oh, sniped. <laughs> I said to myself, I should probably use it to buy some new cards. I should buy 25 cards with 14 bucks. I don't know what to think of it. I'm either playing a deck that no one wants to play, the cards are absolute garbage, uh, there's just so many of them that no one uses. I really hope it's the third. Nonetheless, I hope you guys are a fan of card games, because you make a lot of references to that sort of thing, but... Hope you guys enjoy all the references and jokes and stuff, and... Fire Arrow. I like Fire Arrows. I always, actually, as a, as a kid, I always like Ice Arrows more. A, because... Well, in Ocarina of Time, where I found them, they were a lot harder to get. It felt more of an accomplishment to get them. I'm going to be frozen, aren't I? Nope. Alright, that works. But, also because... You can freeze things! I don't have a sword. I can't do that. Oh, I should have seen that coming. All right, so, um, melt. I can destroy stuff by rolling still, I forgot. And, um, melt. And melt. Thank you for your patronage. Um, hmm. Interesting. I thought that would open the door. What do we get? Awesome, straight fairy. Cowabunga! I think there might be a stray fairy down here, because there's always stray fairies in obscure places. Oh, I can't do it! Don't have a sword! Oh. I forgot how awkward it is trying to play this game without the sword. Oh well. Huh. Oh, I thought there's a stray fairy or something down here, but apparently there's just this. So I guess we'll just have to fling back up onto that weird little platform right there, and go from there. I always like this ability of Deku. It's kind of fun. I'm a little Deku scrub, flying around. I can't jump for crap, but I can spin and spin and spin and sp spin and, and, and the invincible snot bubbles of justice. I don't know why they, they apparently are justice, but... Yeah, justice. Because it's just us that can use it! <laughs> Alright. Now, this is probably one of the weirdest parts of the whole temple. 
So I hope you guys can bear with me as this happens, but... Let us raise... The pillar! Yeah. And that happens. So, yeah, that's that seems just so overly helpful right now, don't you think? I mean, we just accomplished such a great feat. Okay, no more straight areas in this one. Just want to make sure, because we get, an extra, we get a really nice thing for doing this one, and I want to make sure I get that. I can make sure I get all of them, but my luck is just awful. Okay. Let's go this way. Let's not go this way. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's not be an idiot and let's go over here. Come on. Come on, Link. You can move faster than that. We just don't have the mask for that yet. Now that we're in here and we have the ability to melt stuff, let's melt some steps. And that one. Ah. Oh, aim is awful. Bring it on. Oh, dang it, I don't have a sword. I keep forgetting that. I don't know why, because it's, it's obvious I don't have one. Death. And now it's going to the other one. I'm going to kill you all with arrows, because you're just like that. Alright then. Just a few hearts, and off we go. Uh, let's step on this first. I can't remember what this does, so let's do it. Oh, sweet, another chest. I'm actually quite fond of getting chests in this game, because there's always interesting stuff in them. Even if they all look so blatantly the same. Let's go for it! Nah. Link falls just a little too hard. Uh, yeah. We should probably just go this way real quick while it's here. Before we gather what's in that chest. Because now, we can go to this one. And get the only thing they would ever put in the chest guarded by flying pots. Wait a minute. Did that just make the noise that Deku Baba makes? I swear it makes the exact same noise. Huh. Neat. Our best friends are back, guys. Uh, that one over there shouldn't be too much of a bother yet, because he's going to be stuck with the... Um, stuck on the ice. Yeah, no, no. Okay, there we go. D dang it. You're dead. Well, the only difference between those guys and my friends is I would not shoot my friends in the boat with a bow. Uh, no, that's, that's, that's just me. I'd never do such a thing. Oh! Love how that somehow didn't just kill me. Alright, so our tenth stray fairy, but... There's another... There's another one. Okay, I was gonna say there's another one that I didn't see the little sparklies and I got worried. But yes, there's another one. This one is indeed a lot le a lot more vague. In fact, I went past this one a lot before I found out where it was. Let's go! It's over there. So let's use the age-old Goron special crop to get it. Let's use the age-old Goron special exploding crop. Let's not hurt ourselves this time, because apparently my aim and timing suck. I don't know why they had to change the timing for these things between Ocarina of Time and this game, because it always messes me up. Oh, please don't tell me I have to cut the recording to throw a bomb. Okay, thank you. Yes. And now we can move onwards. Although now that we've come up a flight of stairs, we might have to use a Goron mask. After, of course, we go through this, because it's just so ice-tastic. Yes. And this is just so frigid, we're going to have to soften it up with a nice arrow of fire. Love being able to skip this puzzle. Love it so much. And now we can move onwards. Now. I get to show you what this little thing is for. These look different because they are indeed little patches of ice. Die! Which conveniently shatter into nothing and disappear, leaving no remnants at all like everything else in this game does. 
Um. Hmm. You know, I'm kind of at a loss on how I'm supposed to get over there now. I mean, like, if we had the hook shot, we could get over there so easily. But I just... Huh. My memory's failing me. So let us instead... No, oh, no, no, no. Do not, don't touch... Oh, I know where you have to go. Ah, oh, silly me forgets about one of the easiest parts of this dungeon. Um... See, this is another use that this is a fantastic song, I mean... Just gotta play it, we can instantly teleport somewhere helpful. The entrance! Yeah. I don't know why, but this dungeon makes you go back to the entrance to advance forwards. And I had completely forgotten about it until now. I wonder why it makes you cook like that. Alright. So let's go this way, into the very second room we ever entered. What is it, Tattle? <laughs> oh, the game telling us silly things we already knew. Let's go. Oh, come on. I was rolling rock with spikes hanging out of me. How did that possibly freeze me? Oh, wait a minute. There's something I should do here. And you're dead. Pwned. You're dead as well. Everyone's dead. And for that, we get a chest. And because of the silver li or the gold line, we automatically know there's something useful in it. What are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me, Snow? Magic power, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Kamehameha! What? Eh, I think more Kaioken right there, because all of a sudden we just go from being a rock to a rock with spikes. It's the spikes that add the extra danger for fun. So now we've got the ability to melt ice, just like the sun. Get this. You know, that actually, gives, that actually gives me an idea. Why aren't they called sun arrows? I mean, I know it's like the light arrows and all, but I mean, the sun is hotter than it is bright in relativity to everything else. So why aren't they called the sun arrows? That'd be kind of interesting. We could have the sun arrows, the moon arrows, and the, the star arrows. Yes. Ah, I had to hit that steady eyeball. Don't touch me, real bomb chew. Okay, now that we're up here, we can just continue on. You know, to be honest, I really don't know why there's, like, a line of spikes everywhere. But there is. So I got a little more magic. We can advance onwards. It's a good thing we picked up that key, too. It's a good thing I'm an idiot and forgot about all of this, or else we wouldn't have ever gotten the key. So now we can slide across the snow and enter the next portion. You know, to be honest, I don't know why I'm still Link all the time. I don't have a weapon. Like, I know I've got a bow, but I don't want to be wasting all of my... my precious, precious arrows. Eh, come on, come on, come on, yes. I don't know if you guys haven't... I don't know if you guys can tell, if you guys haven't noticed yet, but I suck at being a Goron. I am awful at that rolling thing, and you'll find out a lot more of that later. All right, let's enter the next room. As a human, because why not? All right, let's equip the regular... regular bow. Help a stray fairy. Where is it? I know it's in there somewhere. Ah, uh, wrong, wrong item. Okay! Oh. What, what the heck? What the heck? I, I thought there was one back there. Oh, God, that scared me. I thought I was high. I thought I had hidden this just the right spot. Nope, you can hit me. There we go. Back in the right spot. There we go. I don't know. 
Oh! That's because for some odd reason, the Lens of Truth is towering up the stray fairies. I wonder why. I really don't know why. Let's don the suicide mask and... Hate my life! You're dead. You're dead. Yep, that's right, everybody. I hate Frosty the Snowman, so I shoot him in the face with arrows. I don't really hate Frosty the Snowman. He's a pretty cool dude. I mean, he melted a few times and still managed to live. Not sure how, but he did. <sighs> but let us move onwards. Uh, yeah, no more stray fairies in here, so you don't have to worry about it. I think that's our... it was our... 12th? 11th? 12th? I don't know. Snowball fight with humongous body-sized snowballs. Alright. I mean, we have our blast mask so that we can use that instead of a sword. Oh no. I had completely forgotten about this room. We get to fight these guys without a sword. And no Deku sticks either to make up for that. Hear them laughing at me as I try to shoot with an arrow? Come on! Come on, face! Become explodable again! Oh, they killed him? Sweet! And now both the fairies are mine. Ah! And there's one more, and I know exactly where it is. It's in that main corridor, in that one bit we talked about earlier that we couldn't quite get to yet. And as far as I know, we'll be able to get to it somewhat soon. Jump! You're fine, Link. I didn't break your legs. Oh no. It's about to become dawn of the second... Er, no, 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 that's not the first day. Uh, my, my sense of time is apparently dead. Open. Alright. Now we can just roll. Whoa! I don't know why that made the bells so loud. Either that or I'm just completely going insane. The bells were the exact same loudness as ever. Ah, Super Saiyan 3! Because Super Saiyan 3 now has spikes instead of hair. Let us fly! Where's the fairy gone? Where'd it go? I know it was around here somewhere. Oh, oh, there it is. Alright. I think. I could've sworn this was it. Go for it, Link! Yeah! Night of the first day! Sixty hours remain. But no straight fairies do! There we go! Now we've got all the straight fairies. And now, without further ado, let us aim this just right and fall directly into lava. Because I believe that'll take us back to the beginning of the room, which was all the way up here, which is much closer to where we actually need to be. So now. Let us become a Super Saiyan again. And let's fly! And we can fly over in this direction. Because as you could see, if you looked on the side of the screen but a moment ago, the boss key's back in this direction. Sadly, this time we only have eight arrows to kill Wizrobe. Yep. In fact, this guy is indeed named Wizrobe. Why? Don't know. I don't really care. Nintendo can use their really strange and somewhat creative names for anything they want to. Using speakers in my map. Do you look? He also appears on your map. Oh, there he is. Oh, cool! I got him. Okay, the final arrow. Nah, wasn't enough. He gets to do, he gets to do his little fun dancing run thing. And because we're now out of arrows, we're gonna have to rely on our exploding face! It's over in this direction. Face exploding powers activate. Let's bring back the boat. Once we get more arrows, we can use it. Everything dies, and we should probably gather a few more materials before we go on, because I have a feeling arrows were in here the whole time. Oh, I was right. Forty arrows. 
And now, we can get the final piece of the puzzle. The boss key. As I break my finger. <laughs> Ta-da! The boss key. Now we can enter the final chamber where the boss lurks. As that menacingly close bo closes behind us. Eh! Alright. Um, yeah, we do have to do that again, don't we? Ouch, my legs. But, now we just have to blast open these and we can have fun with a weird, like, this. I love how the, the, like, the audio just, like, dies there and all of a sudden there's this explosion of sound. It's really neat. And let's go. Kamehameha! And without further ado, I'm gonna end the episode here, you guys, just on a cliffhanger. So the next one we'll do will involve getting our sword back. And as you may have read really quickly, back when we talked to him, if we gather gold dust, which we will, he'll be able to do it again, so we can have a permanently well, yeah, permanently reforged sword. Because apparently the Kokiri sword began as the razor sword, because you reforge it the first time rather than forging it. So We'll get that, we'll get the lovely Razor Sword, show it off, maybe kill a few enemies with it, get the Gold Dust, get our weapon even better, but I'll end it here so we can start off with a great boss battle to make sure the episode's as good, if not better, than this one. So I hope you guys enjoy my channel, I hope you guys enjoy the commentary, and please rate, comment, subscribe if you're new to my channel and you like my commentary. And, yeah, well, this is Lenart Scion, 